I'm gonna get us some drinks. So this is it. The trachotoxin. Lethal and untraceable. It was used by the Native Americans back in the day. They used to poison the tips of their blow darts with it. How do you know that? Mm. Oh, I, I read it in this book by someone named Adrian Rice. It's supposed to make it seem enough, like... Enough! Enough! Are we really going to do this? Are you serious? Now, now you grow a conscience. I think maybe I can talk to him. He knows about us. He knows everything. Uh, even if you were to get a divorce, you wouldn't get anything out of it. Not unless you did it the proper way. If, if you could claim life insurance, then you, then you might even get the house. As long as you get his manuscripts and things. Don't pretend this isn't a, what it's about, Joe. Come on, you know it's not about that. I, I love you. What if it goes wrong? Relax. Just, just trust me, okay? All you have to do is, is give him these. And, and I'll do everything, I'll do everything else. I think we need to talk. Okay. What do you want to talk about? Okay. I'm giving this a lot of thought. I don't want to argue with you anymore. I want a divorce, Kat. I think it's fair. It says I don't get a penny. Nothing. I have no life with you, Adrian. Please, Cat. For the past ten years, I've done nothing but live in your Cat. shadow. I have no identity Stop. anymore. You know. Everyone knows me as just the, the irresponsible, irresponsible wife of, of no, 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 great enough. Adrian Wright. No, listen to me! I know you've been sleeping with Joe. I 
think I should cool off. I'm gonna get a drink. Have a drink. No, I should uh, keep a clear head for tomorrow. One drink isn't going to kill you. Just have a drink with me. And I'll sign the papers. Promise. I wasn't happy in this marriage for a while. I can't let you walk away from this marriage just like that. I gave my all to this marriage. You don't care at all. And all you care about is writing your stupid book and promoting your novel. I loved you. And you? You don't care about me. You don't love me. Unfortunately, I have Joseph. He loves me so much more. He didn't kill for me. <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> I told you.
Oh, you're awake. Good. You read my book. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You see, I thought all you cared about was your commission. <laughs> you must admit, the Batrachotoxin, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. good idea. Mm -hmm. One of my favourite poisons. Mm. I underestimated you. <laughs> You've done your homework, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Shh, 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 shh. You're just not good enough. Mm. Adrian, please! Adrian, please! I've got the publisher all lined up for your next book. Please don't do it! Please, Adrian, don't do it! I'm going to pour this down your throat, okay? No, we're going and you're to going to swallow. Face. Oh. Okay. There we go. There we go. Hello, please. What is your emergency? Hello? Hi. Uh, my name is Adrian Rice. I, I live at um, 36 West Haunton Street. I, I got a really, really strange text from my wife earlier today. And when I came home, she was with my best friend and they were lying on the bed and neither of them are breathing. And I, I'm really concerned. I, I don't know what to do. Okay. Okay, please. Please come quickly. Humans are natural storytellers. But to write a good story, even if you have the most vivid imagination and great ideas, you may find it difficult. I must be inspired, develop it and revise it again and again until I write the best story I can.
But sometimes, but sometimes, reality is stranger than fiction.